We already know how to create new tables with select statements, and we can give them a global name. But we can also create local tables using a new piece of syntax. A create table statement names a table globally. If I say create table parents as, select this, select that, I'll get a table called parents with a parent and a child column with the following data. And we can represent this as a tree just to keep track of what's in it and to visualize it more easily. You can also create what's called a local table. And you do that with a with clause of a select statement. So let's say that I've picked out my very favorite dogs, Barack and Eisenhower. And what I'd really like to know is, what are the parents of these favorite dogs? How did they come to be? Well, I could just write one long select statement that hard codes Barack and Eisenhower as the children. But what I'd like to do instead is make a table of my favorite dogs. So we're still going to write a select statement that says, I want the parents of my favorite dogs. But the way we'll do it is to introduce a with clause that creates a table of my very best dogs. Now this syntax is a little bit new. So with is a keyword. Best is the name of a table. It will be only a local name. Dog is actually a column name. So the way you declare this is to say, what's the table name? And then in parentheses, separated by commas, what are all the names of the columns of the table that I'm creating? Then you need it as an open parenthesis and a select statement. Select Eisenhower, select Barack will give us a table with two rows, the Eisenhower and the Barack row. What's the column name again? Instead of putting as here, you just put the column name up there. Close your parenthesis to say that that's done. And then we'll have created a table called best with a column dog that has Eisenhower and Barack in it. And we can use this table in our select statement down here to say select parents from the parents joined with the best table where the child in the parents table is the same as the dog in the best table. So this will give us all of the parents of the best dogs. What are the parents of the best dogs? Well, Eisenhower doesn't have a parent, so we just get a table with Abraham in it. This local table only exists for this select statement. It can't be reused. And this with clause is actually technically part of a select statement. So anywhere you use a select statement, you can put a with clause in front of it in order to declare some local tables. So here, I've created the global table parents. I have a select statement with a with clause creating a local table best with a column called dog containing Eisenhower and Barack. If I start SQLite and initialize it with the contents of this example, it will print out Abraham, which is what this select statement evaluates to, a table with one row, and that row is Abraham. Now the interesting thing is that while it's the case that the parents table is available for future statements. The best table is not. It was only local to that one select statement that I made. And so it doesn't stick around in any way. Let's look at an example. An example of the interesting relationship drama among these dogs. OK, so here's some sample query with with clause that says I need a local table called what with a first and a second column that selects a.child, b.child from parents as a, parents as b, where a.parent equals b.parent and a.child does not equal b.child. Then select child as blank, second as blank from parents joined with what, where parent equals first. So the questions for you are, what are appropriate names for the columns in the result, which would be filled in in these two blanks? And how many rows will result from this query? 
Think about it for a minute, and we'll go through it in three, two, one. So first of all, what is a terrible name for a table? This local table should be called siblings, because that's what it contains. It contains all the pairs of children that have the same parent. Next, we can look at the kinds of rows that come out when you join parents and siblings together. Well, you have the parent column, the child column. Those two come from the parents table. You have the first and the second column. Those two come from this local siblings table. And then we're selecting from that only the child and the second column. So we keep child Barack and second as Delano. Which is that relationship? That's a nephew to uncle relationship. Where what you're joining together here is a child and the sibling of the parent. So how many nephew-uncle pairs are there? Well, Barack and Delano, Barack and Grover, Clinton and Delano, Clinton Grover, Herbert and Abraham, and Herbert and Grover. Six of them. That's how many rows will result.